The Boston Celtics have made a lot of moves in this offseason. Ever since hiring Brad Stevens as their new GM, the Celtics have changed up their team tremendously. So today we're going to be rebuilding the Boston Celtics with the rumored, as it's rumored as of right now, last time I did this, the trade actually went through, that Josh Richardson will be going to the Boston Celtics. I really like this pickup if the Celtics do pull the pin. I'm pretty sure the only way they do this is if they give up Chris Dunn and use the rest of that Gordon Haywood exception, I'm pretty sure. Either way, Josh Richardson to the Boston Celtics will make it happen in 2K and rebuild the Boston Celtics. I said Boston Celtics a lot, didn't I? Guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell to stay notified. We're trying to post every single day while there's a free agency period. I want to try and post every single day while all this stuff is happening. Follow on all the socials as well, like Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff down is down in the description below. Follow us on there. Helps us out a whole freaking bunch. Seriously, it would mean a lot if you guys go do that. But let's get into today's video. So this is what we're going to be doing in 2K, just to make sure that this actually goes through. Chris Dunn in a first round pick for Josh Richardson. I mean, we're controlling them anyway to make sure it works either way. So Josh Richardson is now on the Boston Celtics, which means the Celtics now have a team of Tatum, Brown, Williams, Horford, Smart, Richardson, Brown, Pritchard, Edwards, Naismith, Langford. So as a team, I think... We need to get ourselves a, probably a, oh, I mean, we could start Josh Richardson or Marcus Smart at the point guard. Both of them can, can defend. They're both decent playmakers. Not great, but decent. We'll run this team how it is right now for this first season. We'll see what happens. I think, yeah, we're going to re-sign Evan Fournier. He could be a nice, decent thing off of our bench. And, um... I mean, if we can afford Doug McDermott, I'm assuming the, Cel the Celtics won't say no to more shooting. So this team is looking pretty good. We've only got Al Horford, who's now a 78 overall. So we might be trading him away next offseason. After this season, we might trade him away just so that, you know, he doesn't regress off a cliff for us. So we have the single training camp and... <sighs> I suppose we're going to have to go to playmaking or offensive fundamentals. I'm thinking offensive fundamentals to Josh Richardson. I went the wrong one. Which one gives up uh, playmaking? It might be basketball 101 that might be doing playmaking. Whoops. Uh, anyway, so we're going to be running a Richardson, Smart, Brown, Tatum, and Williams starting five with Fournier, Brown, Horford, McDermott, and Naismith off the bench. I'm going to run that team for this first season. We are going to be having uh, Tatum... Brown, and then I'm not even going to have a third scoring option. Brad Stevens, you're our GM, not our head coach, brother. So we're going to fire you for Jacob Underwood. Uh, so system, do we have any four-star systems? We'll stick to a grit and grind. And the Celtics are the projected fifth seed for this year. So let's simulate the season, see what goes down. I don't expect us to do anything crazy, but it is 2K, so you never know. All-star break, we get ourselves Jason Tatum. That is it. Interesting. We might need to trade for another All-Star. Not sure who, though. LeBron ends up winning MVP like usual. We actually went 59-23, and 23, so he did a little bit better than I thought we would. Kate Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Cole Anthony, Sixth Man. Jonathan Isaac, Defensive. Obi Toppin, Most Improved. And Jacob Underwood. That's our coach. Wins Coach of the Year. Interesting. Cool. We don't get any All-NBA teams, but we finish as a one seed in the East. Because that makes sense, 2K. That makes a whole lot of sense. So Tatum dropped 27, 6, and 3.6. Uh, then Brown dropped 22, 5.4, and 4.2. And then Fournier off the bench still dropped 15, 2.2, and 3.2. By the way, Evan Fournier in the Olympics is doing bits for France. Uh, Josh Richardson dropped 11.3, 2.8, and 2.3. We might need a bit more playmaking on this team, you know. We might. Offensively, the Celtics were the eighth best team. Our defense was second best and our differential was third best. So our defense was bloody brilliant. We're taking on the Milwaukee Bucks here in the first round, whose defense is also bloody brilliant. So I don't expect us to beat the Bucks here. We're losing the first round, guaranteed. Guar Cam rebuilds, guaranteed. We're going to lose in the first round. Guarantee it. Oh, we won in seven games. That doesn't happen a lot. We now have the Miami Heat, who have actually got Dennis Schroeder and Jimmy John Collins, sorry. I like that. How did they get both of those guys? I have no idea, but I like that from the Heat. And we lose in five games to the Miami Heat, who lose to the Knicks, who lose to the Lakers, and the Lakers are the champions. Okay, okay, okay. We're making this Celtics team bloody awesome now, aren't we? Of course we are. We have to. We can't go through this rebuild without having making like a freaking super team, you know? What about, um... Malcolm Brogdon. Could we make a Malcolm Brogdon trade work? I think we have the assets to make this Brogdon trade work. 
So Malcolm Brogdon as a new starting point guard for us. And then have Josh Richardson start at the two. Marcus Smart off the bench. We're trading Al Horford. We are trading... Oh, is he, he has an option, doesn't he? We can't trade Al Horford yet because he has an option. We might just straight up get rid of him. <laughs> uh, do we accept that? He might be able to be used in a trade. So sure, fine, whatever. We'll bring him back. Qualifying Robert Williams. We need to bring him back because it's Robert freaking Williams. And then same with Josh Richardson. I want him back. And Marcus Smart. I want him back. We get all three of those guys back. Perfect. Our free agency is fine. Who else is here? No one that I really kind of don't want, to be fair. Uh, so, uh, who do we need to get rid of? Al Horford, Moses Brown. Could we get ourselves a backup or starting center? If we could get ourselves another center, or maybe a guy with a lot of value. Mason Plumley has a bit of value. Okay, what if instead I just traded Al Horford for straight up Kyle Kuzma? I'm just going to do that straight up uh, and then trade away Kuzma straight away with Moses Brown and I was hoping another center did get... Oh, Mo Bamba. I like Mo Bamba. Either that or go Dario Saric and Alex Len. I'm going Mo Bamba, boys. I'm getting ourselves Mo. He's only going to progress for us. I think he will fit the Celtics fine. We've got Mo Bamba as probably going to be our starting center if Robert Williams doesn't progress. Either way, we've got two pretty good young centers. Uh, then we have Richardson as a starting two. Marcus Smart as a backup shooting guard. So we're good at the point guard, at the point guard, shooting guard, and center. We need backup forwards now. We need backup forwards. we got Doug McDermott, but it's kind of like, eh. Wendell Moore with Doug McDermott. Could we maybe get ourselves a forward that would really, really help our team. I see Javonte Smith. No, I see Deshaun Tate and Seth Curry. Not great, not gonna lie, but there is someone I think would be perfect. Because you gotta remember, it is for a backup position, not a starting position. Could we get Obi Toppin on this team? I will literally give you my last first round pick in like two seconds because that's literally all we can offer. Shit. <laughs> what about if I gave you Romeo Langford instead with Wendell Moore? Thank you. We got ourselves Obi Toppin. Now we need to back up small forward and we should be fine. Poku. I don't get Poku that often. So if we can make a trade for Poku. I mean, we have Aaron Naismith. Aaron Naismith's okay, but I kind of want to use Alexi. Po, po, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, all right? I want to use him, so I'm going to get him, all right? You can't control me. Why the hell is Jalen Brown going down? No one fucking knows, 2K. What the hell? Everybody on this team is going up, except Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown lost an overall. I don't know how that happened, guys. How did that happen? We do have ourselves three training camps, so, of course, we're going to be going to Basketball 101 to Brogdon. That does not help with... Uh... <laughs> Maybe it's combo guard. We'll go combo guard to Josh Richardson. And uh, maybe that helps his playmaking. That does ha help his passes. And untapped potential will go Obi Toppin because Obi's a nice young guy. We should have gone Mo, Mo uh, Bamba, shouldn't we? We should have gone Mo. Uh, either way, we have ourselves a rotation of Brogdon, Richardson, Brown, Tatum, and Williams. We then have Obi Toppin, Mo Bamba, Marcus Smart, and Alexi Pokovensky. I think I've fucked that up, but it's all right. As a rotation here, which I quite like. So, of course, Tatum, uh, Brown, and I'm going to go Brogdon as our third third scoring option we have a four star pace and space system or seven oh, we're definitely running a seven second system bro there's no way we're running anything other than a seven second system and the celtics are the projected fifth seed so um watch us lose in uh, the first round of the playoffs all stars we have jason tatum and that's it <laughs> yes now Woo! um i want to know what happened here how is kate cunningham the mvp putting up 18 6 and 11 Chet Holmgren had better stats and he was Rookie of the Year. Okay. 2K. Something's happening, bro. Cade Cunningham, all NBA first team, but I'm guessing we don't have any Celtics. We never do. And we finish as a three seed. Okay, yeah. But we're going to get bounced in the first round. Let me guess. We have the Bucks in the first round again. Um, don't like this. 26.5, 5.6, and 4.4 for Tatum. 21.3, 4.6, and 4.1 for Brown. I um, don't know why I'm singing it like that. <laughs> 19.7, 4.2, and 9.4, for Malcolm Brogdon, and there's the rest of the stats if you guys are kind of wondering. Uh, team stats, offensively, the Boston Celtics were the ninth best team. Our defense got worse, which is not good, and we're the third best differential. I really don't like how our defense got worse, and um, they've added DeMarcus Cousins to their starting center, and... Uh, 
I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm scared of the Milwaukee box in 2K. I'm, I'm gonna say, say that with confidence. I'm kind of scared of the Milwaukee box in 2K. But it doesn't matter. Because we just won in five games. And now we have the Brooklyn Nets, who we should be more scared of. We are having the shittest run to this finals. <sighs> Why weren't we at the top of the table, man? We had the freaking Nets and the Bucks in the first two rounds. And we are about to go down 3-1 to the Nets. We don't go down 3-1 to the Nets. We actually go up 3-2 to the Nets. We actually win in six games to the Brooklyn Nets. This run has been ridiculously hard. Why has it been so hard? Either way, we got the Heat, who have got still got John Collins. They don't have Dennis Schroeder as their starting point guard anymore, though. Game one is ours. Game two is theirs. Game three is theirs. Game four, you ready to go down 3-1? Oh, we've tied the series to a piece. We've gone up 3-2, and we're through to the NBA. Oh, fuck off. This is the worst finals run, playoffs run, I have ever experienced. We've had the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. We had the Brooklyn Nets in the second. Miami Heat in the third. And Los Angeles Lakers in the fourth. The Lakers had the Timberwolves in the first round, the Pelicans in the second round, and then the Clippers, who were the seventh seed in the Western Conference Finals. Game one is a W. Game two is a W. Game three. Oh, my God. Fuck off, are we sweeping the Lakers? Fuck off, are we sweeping the Lakers in the first round, in the final? No, we're definitely not sweeping the Lakers. We are definitely not sweeping the Lakers, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're in the, we're in the Staples Center and watch them come back three nothing down to win a championship. It's it's gonna be it's it's gonna this, that's what's gonna happen. Is we're gonna blow a three zero lead. We've just blown a three zero lead. We've blown a three zero lead. We have blown a three zero lead. Two K. What are you doing to me? Please tell me we're not gonna lose three zero after we're losing seven after we're up three zero. We're down by ten. I have to. I have to jump in, guys. I have to. I have to do something here. I can't just sit and watch my team blow a 3-0 lead. I can't. I just can't. Tatum has got LeBron on him. You want to give me some space, LeBron? Jesus. You want to, like, get out of my bubble? I kind of had to sink that, didn't I? Oh, my God. We got the steal. No. That's, that, that ain't it, Chief. That ain't it, Chief. This might be it, though. That might be it, though. Yes, sir! Okay, we're in. We're still in. We're still in here. We're still in. We needed to sink a three there. Thank fuck for that steal. All right. Defense time. Defense time. Jalen Brown. Actually, you know what? I'm fine with Jalen Brown. I don't like this AD and Obi Toppin matchup. Not going to lie. How do they have Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook? How do they have that? So let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Oh, he, he baited me with that. I don't know why he didn't keep going with that. But how do they have Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook? How do they have that? Just how? Not being guarded up there, though. That's green bean. Okay. I should have just pulled straight away, but we've, we've gone into the lead by two. We're now down by six. How do they have Westbrook and Chris Paul, man? How do they? Oh, that's not going There's no way in hell that's going There's no way in hell that Russell Westbrook is going to sink that. Really, again? You got to let Josh Richardson sink the three in your face, Russ. In your face. You miss the three. You get three. Put on your head, and oh, oh no, oh no, this exactly. I don't like. This one I don't like. That, okay, here we go, here we go. Russell Westbrook on. misses the three again. Absolutely okay, we need a quick right fucking three here. To go their way. To fucking sink that, please go in. SHIT! Fuck shit, fuck. 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 Josh, you're on fire until I needed you. Until it came in super clutch. Come on. Alright, come on. We need to stop. There's yeah, no, we're gonna have to foul them. We fouled Russ. I think he's gonna hit yeah, both of them, put them up by five, the and that's game. Last... Well, what you yeah, do and that's game, boys. Is how he is. I mean, he's that is 100% game. So game. There's no way we're coming back from a five-point deficit with 20 seconds on the clock. No way. We need one of the biggest threes that we can get. Long Fuck it. Let's just, we're gonna have to pull that. Oh, it went in too. Holy shit! I didn't expect that to go in. He is just so. Clutch, Fouls, quick foul. We're going to have to hope Anthony Davis misses one of these. Please miss one, AD. 
He he's the made the first one, and, that makes it and a free second free one you know, I want to is looking good. A score. No, yeah. that's not it. Yes, yeah, that's it. That's the one. Please be a three. It was a three. It's a one-point game with 12 seconds on the clock. And we found Chris Paul. He ain't going to miss a free throw. No way Chris Paul. So, I think we're going to go to Jalen Brown. I messed up the play so bad. I messed up the play so bad. I messed up the play so bad. Play so bad. Get on the three-point line! No good from three-point territory. I'm so pissed. We blew a 3-0 lead. We blew a 3-0 lead. We blew a 3 We blew a 3-point lead! Oh my god, a recover fan base. I mean, I know one. Well, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Enjoy the uh spoils of us losing in seven games to the Lakers. Um and yeah, follow on socials, links in the description below. But I'm gonna I'm probably going to run 5Ks to punish myself for losing. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!